Even your everyday coffee has foods that pair well and others that don't. But don't worry, we've got you covered. For those looking to prevent cancer and dementia, we're here to share the three worst foods to have with coffee, along with the three best foods that complement it perfectly. Hello there, we are Healthscape. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Don't forget to share this video with your loved ones and introduce them to Healthscape. We promise to keep bringing you the best health tips. These days, it's often said we're living in a coffee nation, with our country ranking among the top coffee drinkers in the world. The love for coffee here is truly something special. The coffee we enjoy two to three times a day is full of benefits. It's not just good for preventing diabetes and dementia, but it also helps fight cancer and heart disease. Plus, the stimulating effect of caffeine gives us energy and adds a spark to our daily routine. The delightful, rich aroma of coffee boosts dopamine levels, lifting our mood and even helping with depression. But did you know, even though coffee has many benefits, it can be harmful when paired with certain foods. So, let's explore the three worst food pairings with coffee for preventing cancer and dementia, as well as the three best pairings that can help us live healthier lives. First up, the worst choice to pair with your coffee is, surprisingly, sweet coffee drinks like vanilla lattes. Many of us might grab one of these sugary coffee drinks after a meal, right? But if you look at what's in them, besides the coffee, you'll find a lot of sugar, powdered creamers, and other synthetic additives. Setting aside the freshness of the coffee granules, the main concern is the excessive amount of sugar. We all know that sugar isn't good for us, but why are sweet coffee drinks particularly harmful? The key issue is that they're often consumed right after a meal. Picture this. You've just eaten, filling up on carbs and sugar, which raises your blood sugar levels. Then you top it off with a sugar-laden coffee drink. What happens next? Your insulin resistance spikes and excess sugar remains in your bloodstream. This leftover sugar turns into glycotoxins, causing inflammation in your blood vessels, which can eventually lead to cancer. If this sugar reaches your liver, it can cause fatty liver disease. If it reaches your brain, it can shrink the hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for memory, leading to a smaller brain and increasing the risk of dementia. Additionally, higher insulin resistance is a direct route to diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, and other metabolic syndromes. But that's not all. The creamy powder that gives these drinks their rich flavor is another big problem. Its fat content can easily turn into visceral fat, making sweet coffee drinks after meals a bad habit for both your waistline and cholesterol levels. So, what kind of coffee should you be drinking? The best choice is a filtered or brewed Americano or espresso made from freshly roasted beans, without any added sugar. By opting for this type of coffee, you avoid the sugar and calories that come with sweetened coffee drinks, allowing you to enjoy all the benefits of coffee without the downsides. Drinking two to three cups of quality coffee each day is really beneficial for your health. But if you sometimes add syrup to your coffee, keep in mind that liquid fructose or corn syrup, often just called syrup, is even worse for your health than regular sugar, so it's best to avoid it. So what can you add to your coffee or enjoy with it? Here's a tip. One of the world's top three spices, cinnamon. In Mexico, it's a traditional health and longevity secret to add a cinnamon stick to coffee, known as café de olla. Did you know coffee is fantastic for heart health? Recent studies presented at the European Society of Cardiology have shown that drinking three cups of coffee a day can reduce the risk of stroke and cardiovascular diseases by up to 60%. You might wonder why that is. Well, coffee is packed with antioxidants called polyphenols. In fact, coffee contains three times more polyphenols than green tea and nine times more than black tea. These ingredients not only help to strengthen and cleanse your blood vessels, but they also lower inflammation inside them. Now here's something interesting. Cinnamon is also loaded with these powerful antioxidants known as polyphenols. When you mix coffee and cinnamon, they work together to create an amazing effect. The polyphenols in cinnamon are known to help expand blood vessels and provide nourishment to the joints. As the weather cools, many people struggle with numbness and swelling in their hands and feet. A blend of coffee and cinnamon can boost blood circulation. You can add a cinnamon stick to your coffee or simply mix in about half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder to get the ideal blend. It's definitely worth a try. 
On the flip side, one of the worst things to combine with coffee is medication. This includes not just supplements, but also any prescription drugs you might be taking. Some people might think that since caffeine speeds up metabolism, it could make their medicine work faster, but that's not the case. Or perhaps you take your supplements with coffee after a meal. Doing this not only reduces the effectiveness of the medicine, but can also lead to serious health issues. When you're feeling tired, Drinking coffee can temporarily shake off the sleepiness and help you focus, right? That's because the caffeine in coffee stimulates blood flow, giving you a quick boost of energy. While this works well on its own, combining it with medication can be quite dangerous. Supplements are packed with good nutrients like vitamins B, C, and D, or minerals such as iron. However, caffeine in coffee can prevent these beneficial nutrients from being properly absorbed in your stomach, making them less effective. Mixing coffee with prescription drugs can cause even more serious problems. For example, taking common medications like aspirin or stomach medicine with coffee can increase stomach acid, leading to severe irritation. This could result in serious conditions like stomach cramps, perforations, and ulcers. Cold and cough medicines, which already have a stimulating effect, can cause your heart to race and your blood pressure to rise when combined with the caffeine in coffee. This can lead to serious emergencies like arrhythmias or even brain hemorrhages. If you're taking diuretics for high blood pressure, the diuretic effect of coffee can put extra strain on your kidneys. That's why it's important to avoid taking coffee with supplements and prescription drugs. By waiting one or two hours between them, you can enjoy both your medicine and coffee without any issues. Many people love adding milk to their coffee to make lattes or cappuccinos, Milk not only reduces the bitterness and acidity of coffee, making it smoother and creamier, but it also boosts its health benefits. Have you ever noticed that you tend to visit the bathroom more often after drinking coffee? That's due to the diuretic effect of caffeine, which helps with metabolism and blood circulation, speeding up the removal of waste from your body. While this can be beneficial, it also has a downside. Caffeine can cause your body to lose calcium along with the waste. This is why coffee is sometimes called a calcium thief. Additionally, caffeine can interfere with your body's ability to absorb calcium. So how can we counteract this? By pairing coffee with the king of calcium, milk. Even though caffeine can cause calcium loss, the high calcium content in milk ensures that you can enjoy your coffee without any worries. Additionally, the bitter and acidic nature of coffee can stimulate the production of stomach acid. Milk helps by forming a protective layer in the stomach and neutralizing the acidity, making it a great addition to your coffee. Plus, the protein in milk enhances the nutritional value, making milk and coffee a perfect match. Now, the third worst food to pair with coffee might surprise you. It's chocolate. A slice of sweet chocolate cake with a cup of Americano might sound delightful, and there are even coffees drizzled with chocolate syrup, like a chocolate frappuccino. Some people even pair dark chocolate with coffee as part of their diet. But hold on, coffee is known to help with weight loss, but do you know why? It's because of something called brown fat. When we think of fat, we usually think of the kind that causes weight gain, like visceral fat, which stores extra nutrients as white fat in your body. But there's also good brown fat that burns off the bad fat and helps prevent obesity. Remarkably, caffeine in coffee stimulates this brown fat, aiding in weight loss. Caffeine also speeds up your metabolism, helping to burn fat faster. However, here's the problem. While it might seem like pairing dark chocolate with coffee would boost your diet efforts, it can actually cause serious issues. The reason is that both chocolate and coffee are loaded with caffeine. When you consume them together, you end up with an excessive amount of caffeine. The American Heart Association warns that too much caffeine can cause overstimulation, increasing the risk of heart attacks due to arrhythmia. So, from now on, it's best to enjoy chocolate and coffee separately. But what snacks go well with your coffee? Did you know that coffee is fantastic for brain health and can help prevent dementia? It's true. The caffeine in two to three cups of coffee a day can actually prevent the formation of tau proteins, which are linked to dementia. Plus, the antioxidants in coffee protect and even help regenerate brain nerve cells. This means coffee can enhance your cognitive abilities and memory, and it's excellent for preventing dementia, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's disease. And it gets even better. Pairing nuts with your coffee creates a powerful combination. Did you know that our brain consumes about 20% of our body's energy? That's why it's so important to nourish it with the right nutrients. Nuts like walnuts, almonds, and peanuts 
are not only packed with various nutrients, but are also rich in unsaturated fatty acids that activate brain cells. This doesn't just improve your memory, it also helps clear fats from your blood vessels, improving circulation. Better blood flow means more oxygen for your brain. So next time, grab a handful of nuts with your coffee. It adds a tasty nutty flavor and boosts your health too. So far, we've covered the three worst and three best food pairings with coffee. Now let's wrap it up. Instead of sugary mixed coffees, opt for a good brewed or filtered coffee and try adding a sprinkle of cinnamon or nutmeg for a healthy twist. Avoid taking supplements or prescription drugs with your coffee. Instead, enjoy it with milk. Skip the chocolate and pair your coffee with nuts to boost your brain health. How does that sound? I hope that by choosing the right foods to enjoy with your coffee, you'll take great care of your health. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found these tips helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, and be sure to share this with your loved ones. I'll always wish for your health and happiness. This has been your Healthscape. Thank you.